What's your take, if there's any such take, on the Shohei Otani, Ipe Mitsuhara to do? Here's how I see it. Uh, if you read through the 37-page complaint, and I know that you have and us reporters have, it's a pretty good case that the federal government lays out that the story that Shohei Otani told to the public uh, in his statement, uh, it checks out. And there are just a number of elements in there, whether it's the lack of communication over you know thousands upon thousands of pages of text messages between Shohei Otani and Ife Mitsuhara, uh, that refers to gambling. There's nothing in there about that. There uh, are the admissions of Mitsuhara. I am a terrible gambler, he says, like multiple times. And then at the end, the whole technically, I did steal money from him. It's, you know, it's, it's not an open and shut case ever because look, there could be a grand conspiracy in place here, but that conspiracy would involve Shohei Otani, Ipe Mitsuhara, the Los Angeles Dodgers, the Los Angeles Angels, the federal government authorities, uh, Otani's agent, his accountant, uh, his financial advisor, uh, banks. Like there's so many different parts of this that in order for you to believe that this was actually Shohei Otani and not Ipe Mitsuhara, you have to believe that everyone played his or her role to a T and fooled everyone. Now, we've seen situations in life where that has happened, but the truth is this may just be Occam's razor rich. The simplest thing is Ipe Mitsuhara had a gambling problem and stole money from his friend, confidant, uh, and employer Shohei Otani and is going to go to jail for it. Well, and that's the question I have is the ripple effect, if if there is any. Because if I'm, let's just say I'm Rob Manfred um, and the commissioner of baseball, I'm sure ready to get the green light from the federal government to see that everything is, you know, T crossed and I dotted to just basically say we're moving on here. There's nothing against Shoei Otani. Case closed. I would definitely try what you'd call the Players Association to see how we can look into all interpreters to make sure that everybody does have another avenue of communication with his representation. Would you call the representatives? Right. Like, how, how would you make sure that uh, a bad lieutenant interpreter doesn't sully the game? and tarnish any of the major stars international of this sport. How would you do that, right? Yeah, I, listen, I think due diligence and background work is paramount in these sorts of things, especially when you're talking about a forward-facing person like the interpreter. But uh, I think ultimately, like, the lack of communication or poor communication comes back on Otani's camp, does it not? Like if if you have a guy who's going to be signing for seven hundred million dollars, I understand your desire to go and trust the person who's there, who Shohei Otani himself trusts. But uh, you know there there sometimes needs to be an additional layer of protection, and that's what was lacking here. That that's why when they went and asked him about the bank account in question, Ipe Mitsuhara said. Shohei wants to keep that private. And there was nothing that they could do to go back to Shohei and say, hey, uh, do you really want to keep this private? And why? Like, we're not trying to push too much, but this is something that's important. And a lot of money is going into there. So do you know what's going on with that money? If those conversations had happened, Rich, none of this would be as big as it is. But because those conversations didn't happen, you got to look back on it now. If you're anyone around baseball and say, okay, how can we prevent the same sort of thing from happening to us? Yeah, I guess like that's the moment, right? That, that, uh, cause any, any conversation you do have with Otani like that, however, had to have Mitsuhara in the room, and he's the one doing the interpreting, unless Otani does understand enough English to get to the gist of the question from very concerned-looking representatives of his that he also trusts. So I guess that's also another question for you, Jeff Passon, is 
How much English does Otani understand? And and is he one of those bubble type guys that would just, you know, go rake, go pitch, figure everyone else is just handling everything and not notice sixteen million dollars missing from from his uh, direct deposit Artie Marino account? You know what I mean? Sure. I'll I'll answer the latter question first because I think that's very pertinent here. Um, Yes, I can 100 percent see a scenario in which he doesn't check his bank accounts because he's extremely wealthy and money is not of a concern to him, Mm -hmm. really. You know, he's not the person who's going out and getting all kinds of material things. That's just not his style. Um, And, you know, if you look in the complaint, the government investigators say Otani had not logged into that particular account under his ID in years. So Mm. if you want to accuse him of something here, you can accuse him of naivete. You can accuse him of being surrounded or surrounding himself with the wrong people. Um, You can accuse him of not having the sort of financial literacy necessarily that somebody is going to have when they have that much money coming in. But from the evidence, you can't accuse him of gambling because there is no compelling evidence toward that. Um, You know, in terms of the first question, uh, this is one of those situations where my second answer went so long, I forgot what it was. So you're going to have to remind me. (laughs) Does he speak English? I was was filibustering so hard there. I was trying. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, does he understand? Does he understand enough English to potentially, if if there was that moment where agent, bookkeeper, financial advisor, CPA, all in the room, all in Nezbolelo's office, looking right at Otani with Mitsuhara sitting there as his interpreter. And they basically say, there's some account that Ipe tells us you don't want us to have eyes on, and we're really concerned about that. Would he understand that to the point where Mitsuhara could basically say, they just want to know, how's your dog? And he would just go, oh, yeah, everything's okay, right? Like, so that's the question I was asking at first. Yes. Uh, I, I Let me give you two examples here. Um, example number one, I don't know if you saw Sunday Night Baseball last night, but Shohei Otani was standing there talking about his shoes and talking in really good, if not perfect English. Um the second one at the World Baseball Classic last year, after you know that final at bat against Mike Trout, that incredible strikeout that he had on one of the nastiest sweepers I've ever seen. Mm. Uh, I, you know, he was walking toward the press conference room, and I sort of sidled up next to him in the hallway, and you, you know, as a reporter, you try and get like these, you know, walk and talks. The, you sometimes get some of your best stuff there, especially when the clubhouse wasn't open at that event. And we just had a perfectly nice conversation about not just how cool that was, but how that's going to be a pitch in an at-bat that's remembered for a long time. Uh, To say that Shohei Otani is fluent like you or I, I don't think that's true. To say that he understands English well enough to both hold a conversation uh, and uh, be able to get what's going on in a scenario like the one you presented Yes, yes. Mm. He he gets English well enough there. And I think the, the, the way that we know that is from the story that is being told right now, Otani realized something was a little bit off from Ipe Mitsuhara addressing the Los Angeles Dodgers clubhouse when they were in Korea. That's how the alarm went off in his head. Now, has has he really been shielded this entire time from everything that's been going on? Uh, if the answer is yes, then that's a dereliction of duty from the people who are there to protect him. And if the answer is no, then there are lies going on. Either way, uh, it's not great and not a great look for the people involved. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.